Coming up on Inside Walford Football, the fourth largest crowd ever to see a Terriers football game at Gibbs Stadium gets to see history firsthand as 12th ranked Walford upsets the top ranked team in the country, Appalachian State. Inside Wofford Football, presented by Milliken, Enterprise Rent-A-Car, NBSC, Lil Cricket Food Stores, AT&T Real Yellow Pages, Spartanburg Regional Sports Medicine, and Sprint. Five different Terriers find the end zone, including Jeremy Marshall twice, and the defense forces three near turnovers as Wofford scores 28 points in the second half to snap Appalachian State's 17-game winning streak. Final score, 42-31. Hello and welcome to Inside Wofford Football, everyone. In the history of Wofford Football, the Terriers have never beaten a top-ranked team. That is, until Saturday when Wofford believed and achieved Something very, very special. The Terriers got on the board first as Josh Collier connected with Andy Strickland for a 49-yard touchdown. And after the Mountaineers tied the game at 7, Walford retook the lead on this Ben Widmeyer 7-yard TD run. And the game was tied at 14 at the half. Second half, the Terriers took the lead for good as Dane Romero scored from three yards out. Later in the third, Jeremy Marshall scored on a six-yard reverse. And the Terriers led 28-17 entering the fourth. In the final frame, Dane Romero tossed the TD pass to Marshall on the halfback option. And then Kevius Johnson sealed the deal with a 20 TD run as Wofford upset top-ranked Appalachian State 42-31. When we come back on Inside Wofford Football, we'll take a look at the first half highlights as the Terriers strike first to send a message early on. The gas is good, it's pure as can be, helps your car to run trouble free. There's coffee and milk, as cheap as you'll find, and best part is you don't wait in line. Little Cricket, they're on the way, Little Cricket, they'll make your day. So what do you say when you need it right away? What do you say when you need it right away? That's easy! Little Cricket dummy. For a hundred years, one book has helped people find things. But some people use a different book. Her book has less information. Which causes problems. No other book has more complete ads and up-to-date listings than the AT&T Real Yellow Pages. So choose the book with AT&T on the cover. The new AT&T. Your world delivered. Welcome back to Inside Walford Football. On the Mountaineers' opening possession, you could kind of tell the Terriers were not in all of app. As Dan Tavani came up with an early interception to help set the tone. Let's take a look at the first half. Here's Mark Hauser, Tom Henson, and Tom Brown on the call. Trips left, a single receiver right. Richardson, the lone back. Edwards, flat pass, near side caught. But the receiver hit for a loss back at the 29 from their 38 opening drive of the ball game. Five receiver, Zed's out of the gun, steps up in the pocket, rolls left, gets rid of it, heaves it deep downfield in the traffic intercepted. Pops his pick off and return to the 35 to the 30. Dan Tavani keeps his feet to the 45. It's out to the 47-yard line. Warriors pick four on the line of scrimmage. They'll bring four. Quarterback two. First and ten from the App State 49 and a half. Collier on first down, dropping to throw, wearing it out near sideline for Strickland. Touchdown! What a catch! What a throw! On the money from Josh Carter after two weeks. No run. Not expecting that, were they? The Mountaineers and the Terriers burned them deep. Have 11 to play first quarter. A one play drive gets it done. Terriers seven, Mountaineers nothing. Two receivers right, one to the left. Hobbs the lone back. Collier back to throw with time. Puts it up. Caught at the near side by Allen. To the near side. 
Collier, handoff, Young, good yards up the middle, 20-25, Adrian straight ahead of the 28. Third and 10 from the Terrier, 43, Edwards, four receivers out of the gun, scrambles left, nobody open, now he's going to bring it back to his right, he's going to carry, has room near side, 30, breaks the tackle to the third. First down at the 28, work down and two from the 10. Out of the gun, Edwards runs option near side. First down to the five, keeps his feet into the end zone. Touchdown. 7-28 remaining. We're in the second quarter. Wofford seven, Appalachian State seven. Two receivers either side. Collier out of the gun. To the dive to Young. Collier, they make that Widmeyer see him, and he's out to the 35 to the 40. First down run, Ben Widmeyer. Widmeyer out of the gun this time. Fakes the dive, rolls right, throwing pass, deflected, now caught by Trip Smith, and he takes it down to the Mountaineer 36. Man in motion near side, they're going to run the option in the other direction, has a seam to the 30, tackled by the ankles as he sprawls forward to the 28. Terriers now at the App State 23, going right to left here in the second quarter, handoff Hobbs, booms off the pile, and look at him take the with him inside the 20 to the 17. Motion right, Jeremy Marshall, shotgun snap. Breaks two tackles as he sidesteps two guys at the 10 and takes it all the way down to seven. Two receivers right, single man left, man in motion near side. Widmeyer running the option near side, takes it to the five, takes it to the the Taylors on that drive, puts Appalachian right in the mouth. Took it right to them and drove it the length of the football field. Minute 10 to play in the half. Wofford, 14. Appalachian State 7, kickoff coming from Tommy from the 30, and that's a boomer, though it is returnable, taken by Hillary, near hash at the 5, right up the hash mark, 15-20, crosses the 25-30, near sideline, 30, 50, 40, Hillary, 20, 10, 5, there's the answer, touchdown Appalachian, that's what championship teams do. Your halftime score, Wofford 14, Appalachian State 14. Coming up, we'll take a look at one of the Terriers' leaders on defense who understands the importance of family, both on the field and off. Terrier fans, here's your chance to win a pair of tickets to an upcoming athletic event. Be the first caller to 864-597-4110 and you could be a winner. Compliments of the South Carolina Education Lottery. Pick up their games, pick up their teams, and pick up the pace. Enterprise salutes NCAA student athletes for picking us all up. Pick Enterprise. You up. Welcome back to Inside Walford Football. James Gonzalez is the only senior on the Terriers defensive line. Therefore, a lot of guys look up to him for leadership. Trainer takes a closer look at the Wofford senior who has no problem setting a good example. And our Terrier in the Spotlight presented by Papa John's. A senior here at Wofford. He's a leader on the field. He's also a leader off the field and he has no problem with that role. Showing your, your work ethic and things like that is, is the louder than words. You know, in there when nobody else is working out or, or working harder than you, than you think everybody else is working. When you scream at guys, they don't respond too much. So it's, it's just trying to do that active leadership of, of going out there and doing what you think you need to be doing. You are a religion major. What do you plan on doing after school? Uh, probably working for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. 
Um, I did an internship with them about two, two summers ago. Your mom has moved here after Katrina. She was displaced. What did that whole experience teach you? The importance of family. You know, I, I love my family, and it's, it was hard being far away from a lot of them, but um, it really makes you appreciate what you have. You know, you see a lot of the people that have put, been put through that situation down there how they've lost everything, you know, family members, the house, I mean, regardless if they had insurance or not, you know, regardless of that. Um, it just really makes you appreciate what, what you've been blessed with and to take that time, and not to take it lightly, but to really spend that time with, with family while you have that opportunity. What's he mean to this football program? Uh, he's kind of our heartbeat. He gives a tremendous effort in anything he uh, puts his hands on, whether it be school, whether it be uh, you know, community service, and obviously on the football field, in the weight room, meeting room, he is a, a leader in the true sense of the word. You've been here 14 years. What's so appealing about Wofford that you stayed so long? It's a special place. To, I think anybody has a chance to work with the people here, uh, that's the number one thing. It's got tremendous people, and obviously Coach Ayers is one of the best in the business. I'm very fortunate to have, uh, for him to have kept me around this long. For Inside Wofford Football, I'm Ken Griner reporting. And here's a look at this week's fan photo. It was taken by Austin, a Wofford student from York, South Carolina. It's a photo of women's soccer player Laura Trent as the team was introduced to the football crowd prior to the Charleston Southern game earlier this year. You can submit your Photo to GoUpstate.com. Fan Photo of the Week by logging on to the Terriers page at GoUpstate.com. Coming up, look at the second half highlights as the Terriers fall behind early in the third quarter, only to come storming back. And we'll be right back right after this. You don't stop thinking about your business the minute you step away from the office. So why should we? At NBSC, you have anchor with you every step of the way. I can't believe you beat us out to go to the state Hey, finals. are you the one always talking about taking it to the next level? Good huh? job, buddy. Hey, Girls, way to work. Good job. Nice because job. your business is your life. NBSC. Headquartered in Spartanburg, on a sea of manicured green space, Millican and Company places an emphasis on environmental stewardship and community involvement. One of the many reasons Fortune magazine ranked Millican one of the best companies to work for in America, and why Millican was named one of the safest companies in the U.S. Whether community events are partnering with Warford on educational initiatives like the Summer Leadership Institute, the Millican Warford connection is strong, and both are proud to call Spartanburg home. Welcome back to Inside Walford Football. So the Terriers play the top-ranked team in the country straight up for 30 minutes. What about the final 30? Let's take a look for the second half highlights. Here's Mark Hauser, Tom Henson, and Tom Brown on the call. Edwards out of the gun, backs flanking on either side, fakes the dive, and he's going to be thrown for a loss. Edwards, who is slow to get up. Yeah, he's going off to the sideline. Trey Elder is going to come in to Burns High School product from Duncan, South Carolina, quarterback. This will be a 40-yarder from the left. Good snap, head down, kick with plenty of distance. It is good. I'm 21 remaining in the third quarter. Not near 17. Terriers 14. App State, very light pressure. And Tommy gets away, a spiraling wobbler. And Jackson fires it. Take advantage. Collier, your quarterback. Hand off Hobbs over right side. Breaks two tackles. Got three. In motion to the near side. Jeremy Marshall. Fake of the dive. Collier option near side. Pitches it away. special teams. 5.49 to play in our third quarter. Offered 21. Mountaineer 17. Terriers to win. And then they get a rush score. Play action. Elder down the middle. Man in motion near side Romero. 
Collier fakes. He's going to run. Has to see him left to the 10. Collier takes it down to the 6 yard line with some hard running. Third and goal from the 6 on the left house. Two receivers to the right. Collier out of the gun. Hand off the narrow. Hands it around on the end of the Coming to the near side with the 5 to the 5. And 17. The wing to the right, Richardson the lone back, Elder runs option out of the gun, fakes the pitch, has room, breaks it open to the 30, he takes it to the 30, now he'll be dragged down to the 25. There's the snap, fake of the dive now, it's a handoff to Richardson, who's in on touch, touchdown Appalachian. 14-57 remaining in the football game from Gibbs, offered 28. At State, 24. Two receivers to the right. That's a handoff and breaking through the line. Ahead of the 20. 30 out to the 34. Back again, two backs flanking Collier. Hands it away. Kibius, big hand up the middle to the 40, 45. Kibius by the sideline to the 50. And ended at the 41. Smith from the wide out spot in motion near side. Collier fakes the guy. Big hand up the middle to the 35 to the 40. Hand off Young, right up the middle, good hole to the 20. Pushes the pile forward to the 15, keeps his feet to the 15 yard line. Two wide outs right, a single man to the left. Fake of the dive, pitch near side. And now he throws to the end. Jeremy Washington with the reception. In the bag of tricks, they were there on Kane. Here's a fan of that. He can't hear the football. Second week in a row, they used the half back pass to score a touchdown. 11.04 to play in the fourth quarter. Wofford 35, Appalachian 24. They'll get out of the gun. Terriers bring the house. Slant pattern caught over the middle at the 40. Shot to the 30, near sideline 20. He'll be run out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Alder with Richardson next to him. Handoff Richardson pushes over left side of the line. Extra effort plunges into the end zone. Touchdown Mountaineers. 8-18 to play in the fourth quarter. Wofford 35, Appalachian State. 29, Appalachian 7 in the box. Play action, Collier wants to throw to the far side for Strickland. First down, catch at the 40. Third and 6 from the 45 and a half in the Terrier end of the field. Two receivers right, one to the left. Collier, pitch on the option near side. Kevious turns the corner to the 50. Down the sideline to the 45. That's a State seven in the box. Collier takes the shotgun snap. Throws man open near side. It's Mark. Got it at the 25. Third and eight from the app 23. Under center. Collier takes the snap to throw. Dumps it over the middle. Caught by Kibia to the 15. To the 13. He's struggling for the first down. I think from the gun. Man in motion near side. Hand off. Hot seam up the middle to the back. Six in the off end of the field. Terriers bring four. Elder flat pass. Juggled. Caught by Third and seven. This time Collier under center. Two receivers right. Hand off. Kevius. Breaks the tackle. Slants left 20. To the 15. Wofford Sports Information Director Brent Williamson caught up with an elated Coach Ayers after the game. We're here after the game with Coach Ayers. Coach, your feelings after the game? Oh, gosh, it's unbelievable. Uh, we just uh, beat the number one team in the country, and they're an outstanding football team. Everybody knows that. Everybody realizes that, and, uh, and we were able to go out there, and, and uh, we played well. We executed. We made big plays on both sides of the football. Uh, we kept battling, and they kept battling. And uh, it was, uh, 
it was one of those uh, games just like kind of last year. Last year they to stop us. We couldn't come up with the big plays to, to finish the game off, but this year we seem to come up with the plays. And uh, a lot of credit goes to the coaching staff. They did a great job. Uh, defensively and offensively, super job. It was a huge win, no doubt about that. And uh, the, the problem is we can't just stop and enjoy this. The next one's coming down the road, and the next one's Farming, and they're a great team as well. So it, it, we're, we'll be challenged every week. Uh, we've got to play our best, and uh, to play your best, you got to practice to be the best. And uh, we got another tough week of preparation, another tough week of uh, work. Uh, Farming, uh, they're in an off week, and so they're going to be rested and ready to go. So, it, you know, it's uh, going to be a big challenge. And you talked a little bit about those big plays. We were able to to come up with some big turnovers and yep. convert those turnovers into points real quick. Right. How big of an impact was that? Well, there's no doubt. I think any time that you're opportunistic on defense, if you don't take advantage offensively and put on the board, I think uh, it, it gets a little demoralizing to your guys. But uh, you know, we had some situations where uh, we didn't quite uh, do what we wanted to do. We gained some field position but didn't score some points. And then we, then we started converting. Once we started converting, you, you could tell that the uh, – the, the way that the kids, their demeanor, moving around, hustling, the, the excitement on the boundary. We got momentum on our side, and we never let it go. Now, did you think you were going to be able to run the ball like you were able to run the ball today? Well, uh, the thing that we know is we've got to run the football. If we don't, then, then we've got some issues. The, the thing that helped us today, quite frankly, was being able to work the pass in there in, in positions where uh, normally we wouldn't throw, and then uh, – then, uh, the zone gun stuff, uh, being able to read the option and run the option out of that really helped as well. Any final thoughts beating the number one team? Oh, gosh. Uh, they're a class pro. They got a great staff. Uh, I admire them. I admire them for the type of program, the people that they are. Uh, we were blessed today, and, uh, you know, we've, uh, we'll enjoy it until about uh, midnight tonight, and then we'll uh, start on the next one. Thanks a lot. That's Coach Ayers right after the App State game. And now let's hear from some of the guys. Beating the number one team. Uh, they're a great ball club. Uh, one of the best in the nation. Beat Michigan. It just feels great to go and knock them off the top of the mountain. That's what gave this game hype, I think. They were getting all that national attention. And, you know, we just believed that we can come out here and do it. And we did it. And, I mean, it's just great for us. We really defined ourselves today, you know. I'm really learning how to win, how to come out. You know, our offense, you know, a little slow in the first half and came out winning for us in the second half. I told those guys today, I do the uh, devotion before the game, and I told them don't be afraid to win. And they were not afraid to win. Let's check out the final game stats. Walford, 23 first downs compared to just six. Flashing State Terriers with a big time advantage on the ground, 291 yards rushing for Walford, passing yards at Flashing State with 208. Walford with 140 total yards. Walford 431 to 320. Your time of possession, Walford with a pretty significant advantage, 35 compared to 24-40. Your penalties, Walford has 7 for 49. Appalachian State 3 for 38. Turnovers, Appalachian State turned it over three times. Walford turned it over just once. Let's take a look at your Southern Conference results. And we can show you what has happened throughout the Southern Conference. Elon gets the win over Liberty, 42-14. to Western Carolina gets the best of Presbyterian, 33-20. to And Georgia Southern falls to Chattanooga in a mild upset right there. Let's take a look at your updated Southern Conference standings. And guess what? Your Wofford Terriers are on top 1-0. In SoCon play, Chattanooga is also 1-0. The Citadel and Elon have yet to play. Georgia Southern, Appalachian State, Furman on the second page of the Southern Conference standings. Let's take a look at the White's Pine Street Exxon play of the week. It comes about minutes to play in the game after the Mountaineers cut the lead to four. Dane Romero gets the ball, the halfback option, then tosses to a wide open Jeremy Marshall for a nine-yard touchdown. The Terriers never look back in route to a historical win. The gas is good, it's pure as can be. Helps your car to run trouble free. There's coffee and milk as cheap as you'll find. And best part is you don't wait in line. Little Cricket, they're on the way. Little Cricket, 
they'll make your day. So what do you say when you need it right away? What do you say when you need it right away? That's easy! Little Let cricket dummy. dummy. <laughs> Stay tight in the pocket. Be on time. You see Blitz? Three seconds until sack. Work your eyes to the left. Stare down that safety. Off the mic. What's the corner doing? Two seconds until sack. We need this one. Looking for Harrison. Harrison's completely covered. One second until sack. Who's breaking through? Who's breaking hot? Who's behind? Clark. As soon as Manning thinks it, then you see it. Highlights, updates, and scores at the speed of light. This is the NFL at Sprint. Welcome back to Inside Walford Football. This is where we take an inside look at Walford Football. This week, we have a special treat as we get up close and personal with the Terriers right after one of the biggest wins in school history. Check out some of the sights and sounds of those terrific Terriers. Take a look at next week's opponent brought to you by Eagle Equipment. Next up, the Terriers will travel south on I-85 to Greenville to face their upstate rival, Furman. The Paladins are coming off a bye week and come into the 81st all-time meeting, having beaten the Terriers in the last three meetings and seven of the last eight overall. Still, the have typically been close, and you can expect more of the same next Saturday night at Paladin Stadium kickoff is set for 6 o'clock. Furman comes in with a 1-2 and two record, but don't let that fool you. The Paladins are always tough, especially when they're playing at home. Wofford will come into the contest sporting a 3-1 and one record, 1-0 one oh in the Southern Conference. Coach Ayers was quick to point out Saturday's win was huge, but it's only the fourth game of the season, and there is a lot of football left to be played. With that said, the Terriers will head into the rest of the season. They have the talent and ability to compete with anyone in the country, including the two-time defending champs. For now, we say so long and hope to see you soon. Inside Wofford Football was presented by Milliken, Enterprise Rent-A-Car, NBSC. Little Cricket Food Stores, AT&T Real Yellow Pages, Spartanburg Regional Sports Medicine, and Sprint. They pick up their games, pick up their teams, and pick up the pace. Enterprise Solutions, CAA student athletes for picking us all up. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. For a hundred years, one book has helped people find things. But some people use a different book. Her book has less information. Which causes problems. No other book has more complete ads and up-to-date listings than the AT&T Real Yellow Pages. So choose the book with AT&T on the cover. The new AT&T. Your world delivered.